Hello everybody. I welcome you all once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today I will teach you one of the most important aspects of uh, geospatial technologies that is uh, georeferencing. Any image that is not uh, georeferenced is unusable. And any image that you receive normally that is uh, maybe Google Earth image offline is not georeferenced. It is just a matrix of pixels and numbered accordingly. So for the use of geospatial analysis every image should be georeferenced. Today I'll teach you how to georeference a non-georeferenced image. There are two techniques I'll be teaching you one now and another one later. Let me open an image that is not georeferenced. This is a non-georeferenced image. You can see, look at the cursor now. When I move the cursor over the image, you will get the coordinates of the cursor. Now you see 2, 3, 4, 5, point 1, minus 1, 4, 2, 9, point 7, 4. This is a non-georeferenced image. Georeferenced image will be in terms of latitude and longitude varying from 0 to 180. So w one method of georeferencing is to georeference one image based on already georeferenced image. I'll be teaching you that right now. Take the second image that has been georeferenced already. I'll fit image to window and I'll go to raster and change band combination so that you will be comfortable with the normal color. This is the normal color that you receive. You can uh, carry out the georeferencing process. Now go to the image that is not georeferenced. Go to the menu raster. There you will find an option called geometric correction. Click on that. Now the appropriate uh, dialog box. Now they will ask you to set a geometric model. Now what you will be doing is go and select the option polynomial. You will be selecting the polynomial option if you are georeferencing an image based on already georeferenced image. Click OK. And this is only the model properties. You need not bother about it much. Click close and you will get a GCP tool reference setup. GCP means ground control point. These are certain points based on which the software will georeference the image. The existing viewer, that is the first option, will allow you to georeference your image with reference to another viewer which is already opened. That is what we are going to do now. Click OK. Then it will ask for click inside a viewer to select for reference coordinates. So you have to select the image which has the known reference coordinates which means nothing but the image that is already georeferenced. Please do click on this image that will give you reference map information. That will give you the information that is that says uh, projection, spheroid and datum. You need not do anything, just monitor the information and click OK. There are so many windows that opens now. Now your actual process of georeferencing starts. Now you should uh, start uh, selecting the common points in uh, both the images which means to say that the non-georeferenced image will take the coordinates of that point from the georeferenced image. Which means to say that you will be basically defining some GCPs that is ground control points on both the images on the corresponding feature. 
now it's your duty to find out the common feature let us try to find out now zoom out and uh, get the image to the same scale approximately the same scale now you will find some feature here looks like an airport and try to go to the same location in the same file and find out yes there you go this is runway this is runway and here is a lake here is a lake yes shock sure. this is the same feature what we are looking for now you click on a point which is common to the ideal GCPs would be generally the intersection of roads or whatever feature it is but if you do not get anything you can continue with any feature that you feel is common here we'll go for a feature that is intersecting here this one the same feature will zoom in here which contains the same feature here so this is the GCP definition tool click on that click on one of the image that I'll click on here you have defined the D GCP take the same tool again and click on this as well now it says that first GCP now it says that the first GCP has been defined the both images so this image will take the value for this GCP from the value of this GCP if you feel that you have not uh, uh, properly done it you can just select this and uh, you have the option to move around minimum three GCPs are required for the completion of the process now you find another feature try to find a feature that is not very close to the existing GCP that will allow you to have a better accuracy of results we'll go for a lake here which looks similar this is the lake the same lake I will go in this image as well yes are they same yes they are same here there is a road here there is a road here there is a lake here there is a lake okay let me click on the edge of this lake or let's find this intersection of the roads which is better defined GCP so I'll go for this one this is the GCP and I'll go for the same feature here as well now my second GCP is also defined let me find the third one let's zoom out and find third GCP in uh, a location which is far from both of these see I have found out another GCP that uh, is available on the both the images this is a race course this is a race course as well are there other features matching here there is some feature big white feature which is available here as well and all the surrounding features look similar so this can be a valid GCP need not be the case always you can uh, select this or any other feature that is close by I would select this as the GCP where you have the intersection here as well let me select that I have selected and I'll click here as well three are the minimum number of GCPs that is required you can go on defining fourth fifth sixth however you want for the better accuracy but however your uh, accuracy you will know well in advance as uh, the moment you put a fourth GCP on any of these windows the fourth GCP on the other image will automatically be selected by the system you can see whether that is same and you can take a call let me go to another area and uh, select the GCP
now there you go your uh, process is complete click ok and close everything it will ask whether you need to save anything click no your images have already been saved click no for everything close the unrectified image keep your rectified image intact make fit image to window where uh, you can see the WG as 84 geographic lat long and the latitude longitude value open the viewer and open the referenced image fit that to window now there you go your image is referenced it is georeferenced you can see again here geographic lat long WGS 84 and the value of latitude and longitude and you have done your uh, georeferencing keep one thing in mind that latitude and longitude provided here are not in degrees but in decimal degrees that is it is not 60 minutes for a degree it is 100 for the increase of one degree that's all about uh, georeferencing using already a georeferenced image thanks for watching